I think people are starting to recognize that, that it's time to, to move in the direction of, of, uh, of change. I think that's why. Uh, it was, uh, we're encouraged uh, to see that, uh, that the Globe pointing out that uh, there was a, a group of us working to, to change Beacon Hill. Um, you, you gotta remember, we, we understand that what we are taking on a machine um, that has been operating this way for a generation of, of um, inside you know, politics, behind closed door deals, uh, lack of transparency to the public, and, uh, and runaway spending, right? So we understand that we are taking on um, the establishment and the establishment, quite frankly, on both sides of the aisle. Uh, so um, to have some, you know, a, a positive write-up on, on the hard work that we're doing was you know, certainly uh, nice to see. I think one of the real interesting things in the article was the reference to the editorial in 2012, where the Globe basically said that it was up to the legislature not to see democracy totally crushed. I'm not quite sure what the exact terminology was. And then uh, Jeff Jacoby referred to unquestioning sheep. And I think um, I think that that's what we we have to do on Beacon Hill. We we have to lead on issues that are important. And as Mark mentioned, you know, broad principles of you know tax reduction. You know, broad principles of of um, re re restoring local aid to our communities to put, you know, um, you know, downward pressure on, on property taxes. You know, a broad principle of making sure those who are entitled to state funded benefits receive it, rather than people who are breaking the rules. And finally, government should not be used to promote a radical left-wing agenda, nor should it be used to promote a right-wing agenda on issues such as the social issues, the government should remain neutral. And the Patrick administration has used our tax dollars to promote a left-wing radical agenda. And this is about philosophy, this is about principles, and, and this is about a new, what we consider to be a new direction in Massachusetts. You say uh, step one is, you know, Again, the message out there, uh, letting people know. Step two at the polls in November. Uh, but there are a lot of um, uncontested races still. Um, are there any areas that you, uh, you might be looking at where, where you can get some new people, new fresh blood in? Yeah, this, we're, this we're, we're paying very close attention to legislative races. Uh, I know that. Uh, Lines and I have, have made that a number one priority for our members to help legislative candidates um, want to come to, come to the, to the house to be able to help with what we're trying to do. And uh, we believe that there are um, there are, are several races across the state um, that are extremely winnable. Some open seats, some challenging incumbents. Um, yeah. and, uh, you know, I don't want to be specific on, on which ones. Uh, yeah. That will put strategy within, within ourselves here, but right. um, I, you know, I, I I think that there's a real possibility of seeing a double-digit game, uh, double-digit Republican victories in legislative seats this year. I, I think the, the key is to continue to grow and to continue to promote the message of uh, of less, as I indicated a number of times, less taxation you know, less regulation, open transparency. And I think if, if as long as the public is aware that there is an alternative uh, that they can look at, our goal is to continue to promote a principled message of, of change. And um, I mean, that brings me back to a topic that I think needs needs uh, the probation trial. I don't know whether you've been following this oh, yeah. probation trial, but yeah. but all one has to do is take a look at, at, at the goings on that, that took place uh, during the what so-called probation scandal, that has to change. Yep. I mean, we have a budget process that is closed, and it only lends itself to that type of activity. So the the taxpayers in Massachusetts deserve better than the backroom deals that have been allowed to take place by one-party rule in Massachusetts.